<clears throat> so now what I'm going to do, we have a couple of clashes here, so let's just have a little wander around in Mavis and see what we have. We don't actually have that much, but we don't have that much done. So now, as you can see, we have our riser done. We come out, we turn right, and we go down here, we turn left. Okay. So let's just have a look at what we've done. So I'm just going to look for the export view. Beautiful. And uh, I'm going to export just the ground floor. So I'll just temporary hide that for now with HH and WC. I'm just going to save that. Right, then if we go back here, I just call it the like latest. That in. Right, so now, as you can see, we have two runs, and we're after coming along this way, which this reflects what we just see in Revit. So if I go back to Revit just to show you. So it might be easier in the 3D here. So we come out of our riser. We have a gap here, which you have to fix. We have to come up, we come up, we come up. We then, have this pink, tr pink or purple snakes around. Then the red one also does that, and they join, <coughs> they run on top of each other and around like that. Okay. Now, what I just realized is there should be supports in here. So I'm going to turn those on just to have a look. I believe they are generic mods. Maybe not. Uh, what would they be? Let me see if we're in here. We have to select brackets. What are they? They are generic mods. Okay, so if I turn on a generic mod in here, oh, sorry, it should be here. There we go. So we've actually added our brackets. We haven't done this line here, but we've done this line <coughs> and this line. I actually like looking at the brackets just to see. So in our current Navis works here, we have no brackets. Okay. Now I'm going to hide off the electrical that we were looking at to start. I'm going to load our appearance profiler. Yep. So now what do we have here? Remember we had a gap in the green low voltage tray that's because we have to somehow resolve this clash here so i'm gonna have to drop this down this green one down mm. and have we any other clashes i think we're okay we're very 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 tight here how are we we have a gap so let's just run a quick clash test and see how we are. So we've identified one clash here, so I left a gap in that because we're gonna have to we're gonna have to drop down and around that. So that's definitely gonna be a clash. So let's go to our clash report. So we'll run this one. We got new test. We just call it test one. That's fine. We're gonna federate a model against that one. Run the test. Two clashes. Uh, okay, so they're both that same area so I know where they are because that's just exactly what we're looking at here 
So that'll be easy enough to solve. Let's solve that clash now in Revit. And we do another export. Mm -hmm. And we do another clash test then without any, any clashes. So let's see how we do that. We go to our Revit here. We go to the area that we're talking about. So that's over here. Now I might just close all these. If I hit this button here, I should close all these I'm not looking at. I'll close this one because we don't need that for now. But as you can see, we have our gap here. This is the one that we're talking about. So we have to drop this down to go below this pipe here. And then we have to obviously drop this one to meet up with that one. So we have our section, okay, which is going the whole way here. So we can bring that in. We have one section. Let's bring it in to where we're talking about. We don't even need it that far. Let's open that one. We can, if we want, bring this down. Because this is the one that we're looking at here. This is our issue. So we can bring it right up there if we want. Let's just WT to have two windows. Now, it's no harm because obviously we're looking straight at this one. So if I click on that and go in, that's straight looking at that T piece, which is obviously clashing. So we have to drop that. It's no harm having one at the side as well. So this is our work in progress here. At the sides, so we want to bring that right in, looking at the side. And this will show us exactly what we need to do so we have it something like that if we need to change it we can change it so there's no no issues really now as we can see we're clashing now i'm going to just w sorry vv and turn off the tab over and just hit s i'm going to just hide the sections because i don't need to see that and obviously now you see the clash so this one drops down this one here drops down as well and that's the whole idea if i just spread back you can see that this this whole line so let's wt get it all open so what we can now see is that this from here to here kind of has to be split and fixed so a little cheat is select the two the purple and the red which is the ict is purple and the red is fire alarm double hit h for hh and that hides so now I can just kind of do that same thing. I'm just going to reverse click here to select everything. H H H H. So now when I'm when I'm looking, I can just see what I'm what I'm kind of working at here. So I'm going to split with gap, split with gap, drop down this part, which should get rid of this clash here, and then I'll just drop this piece down and run it in and join it. So that's all we need to do. I'm going to take it nice and slow. Uh, select it first split with gap you can split by element here but i like the split with gap option so it really it's it's a preference thing because splitting with gap actually splits with a gap whereas if i had of chose split here i i get the same option but i would end up i'm going to control it i would end up having to kind of delete one of those so it depends on what you need i like the split with gap option because that for this is what i want i just want to click on that and delete it for now now i'm going to move this section up here that's fine. That's us here. So you see where we are. Now, if, if I come in here, I can type DL or I can go to my detail line. So I'll just type DL just for speed. So that's a detail line. I'm just going to draw a detail line out here. That's the top of that. I want to just measure. So 45. Okay. So we need to be more than 45. So if we're 50 mil down we'll have a nice clean gap there so if i drop that obviously subtract 50 from that so that goes to one that goes to five we can see we have a five mil gap now if you want that sort of tolerance you can have that sort of tolerance but that's still like five mil that's all that is so we just click on it again and say do you like you know do we want it to be five mil or do we you know we might be better off dropping that maybe down to 20 just give us a bit you know a little bit of leeway there Plus, you also want to get your bend here. So if that's not enough, let me show you. Right? Sometimes it can be better to actually draw here and see what the minimum bend is. So if we change our bend radius from 300 to 50, so we can get a tighter bend. We keep it at 45, or we can go 90. But to be honest, um, 90 bends aren't as nice looking as 45s. 
so we can try and get it like that okay lovely so we actually have it like that which is a pretty tight bend now I'm going to just select all and make sure that this goes back onto low voltage So then our appearance profiler won't be messed. I'm just going to click on that and make sure that that's low voltage. Yes, it is. Okay, beautiful. So now what have we done? We've dropped this below that, but we still have to get that joined to these two. So we know we're not clashing there because we can see it. So that means we can actually move our section. See this guy here, we can do that. See, because when we're in here, we can see we're not clashing, but we need to join this and this. So I'm just going to do the very same thing. I'm just going to pull these back, give myself as much space as possible. Okay, and I know I'm on that one. Sorry, I should have shown that. I know that that's that one, right? So by clicking on those, if I want, I can select those two. And HH that are out of the way so we don't get confused. But I did know already that's them. <coughs> right click, draw cable tray. Change our bend radius to 50. And let's go. Right, so I'm just going to draw that. I can see it's too too low here, but that's fine. Don't worry about that. Well, just do another little tip, little trick at the end. Right, so now we have clearly went too far, which is fine. We have an align tool here, so the align rule is to this, that. So click on what you want, the other guys, what level item that you want them to line up to. So click on this first. Then click on the one that you want to move. Go back, click on this one, and move the other one. So now they're all in the same line. So if I click on this one, we're at 3120. Here, we're at 3120. And simply just join. Join. Now we could have done that in the plan view here. Now because we've split with gap, we've hidden, we know we're grabbing all these, and we just change those service types in here to low voltage. Now, does it go back to green? Yes, it does. Perfect. So, now that we used HH, that's why our box is blue. Whenever you use HH, the box goes blue. So, we go in here, and to reverse HH, you type HR. And to reverse it in here now, box is blue, goes back to black after I hit HR. Right. So, that's our clash solved. Let's go back to our export view. Take a look at our lovely brackets, do an export, and we load it into Navis. So let's go up to File, Export, NWC. And of course, if you're looking for where this is, check the video in the video description. Sorry, check in the video description and you'll see where the Navisworks export is. So I'm just changing this one from latest to latest one. Going back to Navis here. I'm going to append. And latest one is there, so I'm going to append that. I'm going to hide out latest, that was the one with the clash. So I'm just going to right click and hide. Now everything is all grey, so I'm just going to go appearance profiler and I'm going to run this one. If you're wondering how to make an appearance profiler, check in the video description as well. So now, what did we do? Right, so we had a few things to do here just to avoid that. We had to come out of the riser. We had to drop down nice below that pipe and then we had to tie it back into the T which meant we actually had to drop that T piece down. So we have a nice sweep down underneath not clashing and then we go when you go through it we go back up to our nice level. So we're keeping all these nice and straight and the reason we do that is so one bracket will span the width of the cable trays. And we can also add brackets in for these here as well, but I just wanted, to, it's the same process. So if you can add brackets onto the cable trays, you can add it onto the ductwork. You just want to keep them nice and level like that for brackets. So when we come up here, we come out at one level. So if we need to bracket these somewhere, we can. We do change our level here, but that's because we are looking to turn right and left. So this bit's a little bit tricky because we are turning right and left. So we have to go up and down. But we do drop back onto the same level as early as possible. And in the case where we can't, because we have to get around this clash. So we, we, we have to avoid this one. 
So what we did was we ran the purple tray across that one and then into the middle and then when we code we dropped back down. So we could move this back. We don't need to go as far as we did. We could move that back, but I left it there just for the video purposes of that span. We could have just went through here, finished off here, dropped back down, and then nice clean sweep. But I just wanted to show kind of how you do it. And then here's the opposite then. So to avoid these ducks here, we had to kind of snake the fire alarm containment. So we had to snake that for kind of a longer distance around under it here at the same level as the purple so I might just hide this one for now just to show you so you got a clean run up looking at that coming on top coming around and then they're going to go back into a line of tree so you see I've hidden that one there so that's why um, you don't see it so you can unhide all here and then actually because I unhid all my federated model, I have to turn off the architecture. And I have to hide this one and hide this. Yes, so that's where we are. <coughs> so that's <coughs> that's how you avoid a couple of clashes with a nice, neat install keeping it straight dropping it down getting around tight areas well i hope you enjoyed this video please drop a like if you did and of course if you have any questions please reach out to me in the comments section i am trip and switches on instagram tiktok youtube twitter and twitch and um, instagram is probably the best place to catch me if you want me to show you something dm me there or of course in the video section i'll try and make a video for you if you are stuck. Take care everyone. Talk to you soon.